Hello, uh, today um, I'm going to have a, another rant about this Photos app, uh, some other things that have uh, kind of reared their ugly head about it. Here's the Photos app down here, okay. Now this is a brand new iMac. This is a Retina 5K 27-inch uh, iMac. Doing about this Mac for you. I am very pleased with this Mac. It's got a lovely Fusion drive in it. Okay, there we go. Uh, iMac Retina 5K, 27 inch, late 2015. Um, 3.2 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor and 16 gigabytes of RAM, which I had fitted uh, at the time. I specified it at the time. I know that the best thing to do is to buy your own RAM, but I didn't. Um, and uh, the nice uh, education discount that you get uh, if you're a teacher like me uh, means that you can actually um, as I say, uh, get the things a bit cheaper. Okay, so uh, there's my startup disk there. It's a nice fusion drive there. I called it Fusion Contusion just because I felt like it. Um, and the graphics there is the uh, M390, um, two gigabyte uh, graphic card there. And uh, there's the serial number, which uh, perhaps you shouldn't be seeing, but never mind. Um, so here we go. This is my. Uh, this is my uh, new Mac doing this, okay? All right, so we're gonna, uh, what we're gonna try and do first of all, I've got five desktops here set up. As you can see, I'm swiping through them like this, okay? They're all the default uh, desktop background at the moment, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, there you go, there's my five desktops there, okay? Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go into System Preferences Okay, much quicker startup. It's lovely, actually. Much quicker startup. But desktop and screensaver. Let's do it, shall we? Okay. Okay. Let's choose one of these albums here. Oh golly gosh! Oh, it's a. Uh, <laughs> it's automatically put in a photograph that I didn't choose first of all and selected it. Okay. So I'm going to go to an album that I definitely know. Uh, for example, this one says Brighton 2012. Uh, well, actually, these photographs here are not Brighton 2012 at all, okay? This bit here is buggered, okay? The East Sussex, uh, really not sure what those photos are. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it actually doesn't work, okay? If I go to 2015, I will get all the photos I took in 2015, uh, but it's still not the point. So let's select this photograph here. This is uh, um, the Ashford Design Centre, okay, at, uh, at Rye. I don't really want it as my desktop background, but let's, let's do so, shall we? Okay, then let's wiggle along to the next one and choose another photo. Um, I don't know, what about... Uh, maybe this one okay this is the sheep center okay and then go to another one let's go to oh we're in 2014 now for some reason or other because i did actually choose that one at one stage to go onto uh, a photo that's my friend james there um let's uh, choose uh maybe that one it's a rubbishy picture but never mind okay all right so i've got some desktop backgrounds okay now, I'm going to now uh, switch to my iPhone uh, and I'm going to record a restart of this, um, uh, 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 of this computer, okay? Okay, so uh, here we are. Uh, I'm about to do a restart. We've already had this sort of system preferences chooser box, which uh, is really not very helpful because it chooses the wrong photos. Okay, all right, so here we go. We're going to do a restart. Okay, so let's restart. Are you sure you want to restart your computer now? Yes, I do. Okay. So this process is a bit boring here, but uh, we'll go through with it. You do need to watch it. Lovely apple bong there. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see how quick this boot up is. Hopefully it should be getting quicker because the Fusion Drive should be um, working out which uh, apps and things I use. Bum bum bum, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so then, okay. You can see there's the photo that I actually 
chose as one of them. But let's see what happens when we boot in. Where, where, where? Two, three, four, five. Five desktop backgrounds there. And where are my desktop backgrounds that I have just chosen? This really isn't good. Right, I'm going to switch out now and go back to uh, the uh, screen recording quick time thing. Okay, uh, the solution is actually very simple. When the Mac boots up, uh, it obviously boots in external hard drives last. Now all the pictures that I chose just then to go on uh, my desktop backgrounds are on an external hard drive. If I were to, like I've done here, this picture here is stored on a folder uh, that is on my uh, internal local hard drive and that actually works. If I were to reboot that, that would work. All right, so that means that this thing here, this system preferences thing here, this desktop and screensaver option here, is actually more or less redundant because what you've actually got to do is find the pictures that you want. There is a folder in there called desktop backgrounds. Okay, and you can actually store the pictures that you want for your desktop background in there, but that's far too involved and complicated. Okay, you don't, you shouldn't need to do that. Okay, all right. Now, while we're here, and while you know, because um, that is, although it has to do with the Photos app, because now things like my lovely aperture here are redundant. Okay, it's not entirely um, uh, related to that because Aperture would do that as well. Okay, I, I worked that one out years ago. Um, spent ages on. Um, the phone to an Apple support technician saying, you know, why aren't these pictures working? Uh, eventually, um, I, I, I sussed it out myself and I phoned him back and I told him. But I was hoping that, you know, between then, which was might have been two years ago or something like that, when I was, you know, still using Aperture, um, to now, someone at Apple might have actually spotted that and fixed it because all, you, all it would need to do is that when you set a desktop background, all it needs to do is make a copy of that um, picture on the fly into a local folder that's all it needs to do okay um, uh, and uh, yeah why they haven't done it I don't know okay um, you know I shouldn't be making the copy the software should be making the copy um, onto the local drive okay because uh, yeah, at, at the moment yeah that's not acceptable but let's have a little look at photos itself Okay, and see if any of the issues that I've had with it in the past have been um, uh, sorted out. Okay, so I'm going to try and upload an album of photos to Flickr. Okay, um, so here we go. Okay, so let's take these. These these are some pirate photos that I took. Uh, people dressed up as pirates. There's share. There's the little button there. And let's go to Flickr and see if it will share them. Okay, if it does share them. I will be very pleased if it doesn't because I haven't shared anything to Flickr for absolutely ages okay because of the issues that I've been having and you just need to have a look at some of my earlier photos rants okay but if it doesn't I should be furious I've already emailed Tim Cook about these problems here okay all right so aha we have a little dialogue box here that's quite nice okay so title Okay, so this is uh, uh, Pirates in Hastings, I'll call that. Pirates in Hastings, okay. I'm using the new keyboard here. Description. Uh, it's Pirates and I took photos of them okay I might put one or two tags in as well okay so let's put in Olympus it would be quite nice if it remembered some of these tags because I've used these loads of times Olympus I think I separate them with commas that'll do Olympus O M D um, uh, Pirates Hastings Seaside 
fun. Okay, so there's just a few tags there. It's not going to get them any views, but there you go. You don't want to sit and watch me do a load of tags, I'm sure. Okay, so let's see if publish actually works. Okay. Upload successful. It says upload successful. Let's now go to Safari and see if it will work. Okay, so the BBC homepage should kick in here. It should kick in. Hooray. Okay. Let's now go to Flickr. Okay, let's see if Flickr even opens. Sometimes Flickr hasn't even opened properly. There's something seriously wrong with the way that uh, these two things re. Uh, Sort of relaxed. Why isn't it opening? Oh, that's better. Okay, and there they are. Those are all my pirate photos. And there, so that actually worked. I am chuffed. Okay, I'm seriously chuffed. Um, that's good. That's good. Um, and if I go to albums, there. I said if I go to albums, there anytime, please. Who are? Oh no, it's not. It's not uploaded as an album, even though it was an album. So now I've got. I've got to actually go into my photo stream or go into this jobby here again. Organize, and I've got to do all those tags and all that rubbish again. Whereas in Aperture, it all worked absolutely seamlessly. It, you, you just didn't have all this crap okay so select that one and come on loves oh it's actually quite a big album and even so okay so let's shift and click all of those and then I think you have to drag them up to edit them as a batch and then you have to Add to album, new album, and then do it all again from here. Okay, so then I have to call this Pirates in Hastings. And this is the real <laughs> annoyance about it. Okay, I think this is a description bo box here. Okay. Okay, do that, save the changes, and then I've got to go and add tags to every single freaking photograph there. And that is not good. That is not good. That's my photo stream, I don't want to do that. Oh, are you sure you want to save changes? I already have saved changes. But anyway, okay, so yeah, sorry, it's been a bit of a long video and uh, yeah, you probably are fed up with me moaning on and on and on, but please, please, Apple, sort photos out so that it works properly, please. Amen.